Do you want to see my secret talent? Yeah? All right, here we go. Little do you guys know, I am actually a villager in disguise. You want to hear it? Huh. 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 Okay, maybe I'm not a full villager, but I speak the language a little bit. Ladies and gents, welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day so far today. Listen, I got a call earlier from one of the villagers asking me to do some chores for them. And the only reason I agreed to it is because I burnt down their village. Yeah, let's just, let's just not talk about that. <laughs> Today I'm putting myself in the shoes of a villager because I need to do villager tasks. I mean, villagers are, they're boring. How, how interesting could it really be? I mean, there's no other way to find out but to try it. Now, ladies and gents, before we get right into this, guys, I'm gonna make sure you guys get all your shout outs. So let's do it. You guys see the shark emoji in my hand right here? Okay. It's gone now. That shark emoji is going to be reappearing sometime throughout today's video. Could be two minutes in, could be five minutes in, or it even could be 10 minutes in. Who knows? But when that shark emoji appears, I want you guys to comment down below the timestamp it's at, and you guys are gonna receive a shout out in tomorrow's video, just like, ready? I'm pushing them in. Thank you very much for getting the shout out, but now it's your turn to get a shout out in tomorrow's. All right, villager, what do you want me to do, Daniel? Zero Night Shark Boy, if you want to get through to this gate, you'll have to. Oh, okay, wait, no. I can't talk in my normal voice. I need to do a villager voice. <laughs> All right, yeah, sure. That, you know, yeah, that sounds like a plan, dude. All right, whatever. So he wants me to play this laser leap. I don't in order to open a door. So I just need to do some parkour and jump over lasers. I mean, <laughs> come on, how hard can that actually be? I mean, I could always just jump over on that side and just turn it off. Uh, I mean, uh, actually, no, it's a little bit harder than I thought. Okay, you know, these lasers are getting a little bit faster. Wh where? Why have I never seen this in a village? I mean, I always find the village chest and I get a couple cool items, but since when is there a laser jump? Y'all, I don't know what has happened to villagers in uh, the latest update, but this does not seem right. Okay, so I need to continuously keep jumping over this and not miss any. It seems like I'm five out of 10. I should be halfway done this level. Uh-oh. Oh, no, no! Wait, I gotta do it all over again? Okay, so Daniel wants me to keep trying this in order to open the door. Oh, man, all right, Daniel, you know what? You got it. Man, if only I could just get to that side right there. I could literally just turn this off and I wouldn't have to worry about anything. So is there like anybody like watching out to make sure everyone's safe here? Because this is like not your average village, that's for sure. Okay, instead of me moving around, I'm just gonna stay in one spot and just jump very close. I feel like at the higher levels in this laser jump, that's probably going to be my best idea. Okay, Shark, you died on this level. Don't die on this level. No. What? No! No. Okay, what if? What happens if I say no? Wait. What happens if I... Are you... <laughs> level five, we have meat again. Now that is what I was supposed to do. Okay, I had a funny feeling that's what I needed to do, and I'm very, very... Very glad that's what I did. Okay, please, Daniel, please let me get through this, okay? I really don't want to be stuck in this village all day. You know, I was, I was being honest when I said I'm actually going to try now, guys, because you see, when you're stuck in the basement of a village, it's just... Are you freaking kidding me, bro? No! Come on, please, let me just get out of this place, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm doing so many strategies. I'm jumping from the wall right now, guys. Uh-oh, it's getting so much faster. Did I do it? Yes! The gate opened finally. Thank you, Daniel, for wasting all of my time, but I'm getting out of this place now, dude. Thank you very much. What? Um, can we turn a light on in here? Hello? You know, it's awfully dark. I don't know why you can sit in the dark. Carl, what did I tell you about sitting in the dark? Ha, 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 ha. Carl wants me to try some zombie survival simulation thing. <laughs> Look, if you guys were all time fans, you guys would know. I'm already a zombie survival. I survived the crafting dead, guys. You guys remember that series years ago? I'm coming after you. I need to eat, though. Got him. Yes. What? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so evil. <laughs> I'm a zombie veteran. All right, let's give it a shot. What's up, zombies? Come and get me, bro. So wait, where's my sword? Do I get a sword? It says booting up the simulation. So it seems like I'm in like a virtual reality of some sort right now. I only need to survive two minutes in this place. So I mean, psh, come on, how hard could this actually be? If, 
Okay, well, now that's a different story. You can only get hit once. You know, if there is one thing that I learned about being in the crafting dead and just playing a lot of zombie games in general, you can use the zombies in order to make what is called a train. It's very simple. You just need to walk in a certain fashion and it turns out they'll all end up looking like a big old train. We got two zombies now. We got three. Oh no, what? Okay. Okay, maybe the train that I was talking about is uh, a little bit more difficult. I cannot fall through there because there are zombies in there. So I need to make sure I'm watching my step. I mean, realistically, I don't even need to sprint on this map. So I can kind of just like kind of chillax. Zombies, follow me over here, please. I only need to do this for about a minute. So as long as I'm careful and I don't get bit by any zombies, I think I should be okay. The thing is, though, is I can't even see where these guys spawn. Okay, that's half the scary point. They can spawn right behind me. See, like I said, guys, all you got to do is you need to make a train. Can you see the train that we got here? Oh, okay. I broke the train. We need to establish the train. Zombies, I am over here. Follow me this way. See? We got a train! <laughs> this is the number one skill you'll ever need in any zombie game whatsoever, ladies and gents. If you can hold the train, you can hold the dub. Uh-oh. Now, if zombies start getting out of line like these zombies do, then okay, maybe things will get a little bit more difficult. Okay, only 40 seconds left here, guys, and I should be able to make it back out of this place and Carl let me out. I don't know, but these zombies are running now. Oh, no. Okay, now I'm getting a little scared. There's a lot of zombies here, man, and they're running. Oh, no! No! Carl! Overall, as long as I keep moving, I think I should be okay. But I don't know where half these guys spawn. They always jump from like the ceiling and spawn somewhere in the grass. I mean, it's a little bit difficult when it's like that, okay? You guys got to cut some slack for that. Okay, I've only got a minute left. If I can hold out for another minute, I should be able to get out of here. Like I said, I just don't get it. How do villagers do this every day? I mean, they can't even fight off one zombie, but they make all the players do it. It just doesn't make any sense to me. All right, zombies, follow me over here. Keep on following, guys. This is called a T-R-A-I-N train. Oh boy, man. It's just, okay. We only got 20 seconds left. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Okay, we're going this way now. I don't like it how there's running zombies and how my sprint keeps getting ended. Okay, only 15 seconds. Please do not mess me up here. The train is looking well. The train is looking very healthy and stable right now. We've got quite a bit of zombies on our tail, but you know, only five seconds, please. Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, man, seriously, you need to turn a light on in here. It's not good to isolate yourself in darkness 24-7. Oh, what do you want, man? Can I just leave this place? Miranda? All right, Miranda, what would you like? So you want me to go and save your chickens by shooting them away from the lava. I'm never going to blow up a village again because I do not want to do this. Bye, Miranda. Let me let me shoot your chickens, okay? I will help you not let your chickens die, okay? This should be easy enough. Look. One, two, three. See? You know, Miranda... Okay, maybe that first time I was I was just warming up, okay? I haven't used a bow in a while. But I know I got this, okay? This is like, uh, it's like Tetris, you know? It's just like Tetris. You, you play one game and you just get used to it forever. So my question is, why are there so many chickens? Come on! Look, Miranda, I'm sorry, but if I can't do this, I'm gonna let all your chickens die in this lava. You know, blowing up a village doesn't justify as to why I need to save these chickens. And it also doesn't justify why they're all falling into lava in the first place. Man, I am never doing this again. What kind of sick villager wants to put all these chickens in the lava in their own village? Oh, no. How? How? You know what? No, no. I don't want anything to do with you, Miranda. I'm done. No, no, no. That's the face she made. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys think Miranda deserves to have all of her chicken saved, then let me know by leaving a like on today's video. But honestly, the lesson I've learned from today is that I will never destroy another village because be being a villager in Minecraft is just, well, it's not boring, but it's um, slightly psychotic is what I'll say. <laughs>
But ladies and gents, that's going to be it for me today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, then make sure you guys go check out all the other videos on the side right there. I'm telling you, you guys will not regret it. Those ones were even better than this one. I hope everyone has a safe and fantastic rest of the day. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow in a brand new video. Take care.